So I don't think I'm going to make a smoothie today because I don't really have time and my hands kind of sore um, when I was peeling this orange yesterday. It was so difficult to peel. The hardest orange to peel ever and it kind of pulled the skin back away from my thumbnail and so my thumbnail still hurts. And um, when I was peeling it, I actually got orange juice under my nail and it hurt so bad. I was not expecting it to sting that bad, but it was so painful. So I just don't want to do the smoothie thing this morning. Mainly time is the issue, but I'm just going to wait until my thumb feels better before I even attempt peeling more oranges. Check it out. Wearing my Anna shirt today. It's, 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 it's. What's annoying about carrying this to work is it actually gets pretty heavy because even when it's empty it is quite heavy and then you put the smoothie in there and it's like weighing down your arm plus then I have the refill thrown in my purse so my purse is heavy and it just like gives my arms a workout. So I'm kind of happy I'm not doing the smoothie today although I do want to keep on track with smoothies. What I do want to try is this combo here so maybe I'll have that when I get home or something but it's like a chocolate protein powder. I forgot I actually had this. I was I used to have this almost every day and then I kind of forgot I owned it for the last few months. So I'm going to mix this with banana and kind of make a little smoothie out of it and I think it would be so delicious. I have less than 10 minutes to eat brush my teeth and get out the door, so I should probably stop filming. I forgot to mention that in addition to putting the smoothie refill in my purse, I also toss in a full water bottle, so it gets pretty heavy. So I just got home from work, and it's Skype date time with my boyfriend for our seven year anniversary, and I checked the mail and I got this. It's a package from Jet Pens, so I'm gonna be doing a review for them. So that's gonna be cool. No time to make supper. Too excited for Skype date, so I'm just gonna have some veggies and maybe I'll eat more later. I'd log into Skype and he's not online. He should be waiting for me all day. <laughs> oh, I saw that! I saw that! I saw that like yesterday or the day before. Oh gosh, it's hilarious. <laughs> Shoves a kid over. <laughs> I loved that and I'm like, I wish I was that little girl. <laughs> yeah, that's all like, I'll pixelate it out. <laughs> oh my god, just because your mustache makes it look really funny. Oh, it just zoomed out. No. I think it was a bit more arched before, but it's still pretty funny. <laughs> oh dear. I just need some content for today's vlog, and people would probably like to see you. <laughs> Do a sexy face. I mean, other than your natural one. So I just finished my Skype date with Christian and we talked for about 2 hours and 15 minutes so it's quite a good talk and now I just miss him even more and I just really can't wait to see him at Christmas time. It's going to be such a long wait. <laughs> but then after that he's going to be moving here so I won't have to wait anymore. No more long distance. Like It still doesn't feel real you guys. I told him it feels like I'm going to go home for Christmas and then we're going to have to be apart again like I keep forgetting. He's going to be moving here shortly after. We'll probably have to be apart for a little bit. Like, it depends if and when his parents can help him move. But, basically, it's only going to be a few days. If we're apart, it's only going to be a few days till he moves here. So, I'm so excited. So excited, and then I won't live alone anymore. Oh, shoot, I forgot to ask him, like, how he'd feel living with me when I do my daily vlogs and stuff. And, like, I wonder if he's ever going to vlog. Because a lot of vloggers, it's both the guy and the girl who do vlogging. But that's because they're into it. I don't know if Christian's really into that kind of thing. At least I hope he wouldn't mind me filming him, but I kind of don't see him as the kind of person who would pick up the camera and film himself. It's time for the Spongebob joke of the day. What's Spongebob's favorite sport? Spongy jumping. Boing. I have a bunch of Spongebob stickers chilling in the front of this book. I should stick them somewhere. You guys know how I mentioned that since I don't have cable, I typically watch the football games online on the TSN website. Because the games are usually uploaded an hour after the game finishes airing on TV. But, for the last two weeks, TSN hasn't posted any of the games, not even highlight videos. And it's so frustrating because I don't have cable and so I can't watch it. So, next, this, well, this weekend's game is the Western Semi-Final. So, it's a very, very important game. And I'm kind of lucky in the sense that it's against BC. The game is in Saskatchewan, but 
there will be pubs playing the game here in Vancouver, and I found on the BC Lions website a whole list of them where they like put up decorations, they turn the volume up, because a lot of times when you go to a bar or someplace and they're playing sports games, there's no volume, you just have a little stupid closed captioning at the bottom, I hate that, so it's even said on the website that these places will have the volume turned on, and I'm like, yeah, yes, this is what I need to do because this is like my only chance to watch the game. So I'm going to basically put on my rider gear and just stroll into a BC Lions party and like crash the party and watch the game because I have no other way of watching it. <laughs> so, so yeah, this is Western semifinal. This is a playoff. So if riders lose, then that's it, done. So gotta win this. So it's it's a pretty big game. So I'm pretty excited. So that should be this Sunday at 1:30 p.m. my time. So. There will probably be some footage in my vlog of it, we'll see. <laughs> so hopefully I can find a pub that's decently crowded and not like some kind of empty, boring place. Like there's a huge list of places that do this, so like I want to pick a good one that will likely be busy, but really I have no way of knowing. Some people were commenting on my Elsa drawing saying I should give away the first inked version I did before I edited it. Did it? I cannot say edited it. Edited it? But the thing is, I need to use it as scrap paper. It's not like I'm throwing it in the garbage. I actually need scrap express it paper. I'm not just going to take a piece of perfectly, perfectly good paper and use it as scrap. I might as well use something that is scrap and already has like ink on it. So I actually am out of scrap express it. So I need to use this Elsa picture as scrap. So I'm sorry guys, I'm not going to give it away. So I basically just tweaked the eyes. The one on this side here this is the new one I printed off and this is the old one and so just like a comparison on the eyes here I actually edited this by hand so there's like white jelly roll in the corners of her eyes so hopefully it's not too weird once I start trying to color her skin her skin's pretty pale so I feel like it shouldn't affect it much but I basically tried to stylize the eyes and make them less round and I just didn't like how they were fully enclosed so I added open edges and I think it looks better. I mean, if I could redraw them from scratch, I would still do them a bit differently, but this is just what I'm going to have to do for now. This is what happens when I sit on a drawing for a long time, is I start, like, nitpicking everything, and then I want to just, like, toss it aside and redraw it, but I'm still going to stick with this drawing. I just feel like I keep wanting to tweak things. <clears throat> my camera battery died. But anyways, like I was saying, I should just get this drawing over with, just get it colored, and then move on to my next drawing. Uh, like I said, I will be doing Anna, and I also will probably do one of them both together. I don't know. I bet that after I see the movie, I'm going to want to draw them again. So there might be more Frozen artwork after I do these initial ones. I just realized how late it's getting, so I should probably end today's vlog here. Thanks guys for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Oh, hello Judy. You finally decided to show your face around here. Judy, step away from the drawing. Judy! Judy! For those of you who are new to my vlogs, Judy edits my videos. She usually doesn't act out like that. I think she's just upset I've been neglecting.